A few days back I made a video showing you these patterns that I created and by using this GPT called Design Pattern. I then showed you what these patterns looked like as a composition notebook. And as you can see, they actually look pretty good. Now what I'm going to do in today's video is show you step by step on how you can take your images like this and then turn them into composition notebooks. So the first thing that we want to do is actually download the images that we created. So what we're going to do is just hover over the image and click download. Now I'm going to go through and do this for every single image here, like so. Then the next step is to upscale our images. Now I use bigjpeg.com. I've used this for probably round about a year now. Now there's actually lots of different upscalers out there. So just choose the one that you like the most. But again, this is one of my favorites and it's really, really cheap. So if we click on there really quick, we can see that I currently have the premium plan. And if we go on pricing, the premium plan is $22 for 12 months and you can do 2000 images. Now the basic plan is only $6. Your duration is two months and you can do 500 images. So as you can see, this is a really affordable upscaler. So what we're going to do is take all of our images and just drag them on to the page like so. Now, because I have the premium or a paid plan, this means I can bulk upscale my images. Now, if you only have the free account, you're going to have to do each one, one by one. But now we're going to click on start. We're going to do a 4X and we're going to enlarge all images. Now, depending on what time of day that you actually do this and use, big JPEG will depend on how quick it actually does this. And there we go. Now we're almost done, but while that's doing that, what we're going to use is Tangent Templates. Now, this is a tool which I've used for absolutely years now, and it's a life saver. Now, with this, we can actually get the interiors for the composition notebook as well, as we can see just here. But this is also going to help with getting the dimensions for your book. So if we go on to KDP Helper just here, we can then choose the book type. So this is going to be a paperback. It's also going to be an 8.5 times 11, and let's just do 100 pages. We're going to select the paper as white, and interior bleed, we're going to say yes. Now we're choosing yes, because if you have an interior where your lines or images go directly to the edge of the page, then you're going to need bleed. So now we just click continue, and we have the dimensions right here for the cover. Now I use Canva, so we're going to scroll down to here to where Canva is, but as you can see, there's lots of different options for different types of softwares. Now what we're going to do is take this dimension and we're going to go over to Canva. We're going to go to create a new design. We're going to come to custom size. We're going to turn this to inches, and then we're just going to plug in these dimensions. So it's 17.48, and 1125. So let's take that, let's come over, let's plug that in there, then click create new design. So this is going to be the right dimensions for our composition notebook cover. Now I've actually got a folder over here, which we're going to upload our own stuff into. Folders are great on Canva to keep in everything organized. But now we're going to come back over to Tangent and we're going to click download on this print ready paper book cover template. So we're going to download that. We're going to come back over to here. We're going to take that and upload that here into this folder. Now we can take this, put it on the page like so, stretch it out so it fits the canvas, and then we're just going to lock that. So this is where we can start designing and putting together our composition notebook cover. Now, if you don't have tangent templates, which I do highly recommend, then you can also use BookCow. 
Now this is completely free to use as well and I will link this down in the description. But here you're going to put your dimensions for your book, the page count, the paper type and so on and then you can get it to email the cover template directly to your inbox. Now let's come over to Big JPEG. We can see that all of these have now been upscaled and we're going to click download all and now that's been downloaded so we can actually open that zip file just here we can then come back over to canva and we can take all of these upscaled images and just upload them here into the folder now we're going to give that a few seconds as well and there we go now that these are all uploaded we can start putting together our composition notebook cover now, one of the first things that I do is put a spine on the book. So what we're going to do is just press R on the keyboard like so, and it's going to bring up a square. Now, with this square, we can actually drag in the middle or drag into the center like that. Then we can pull up to the top. We can pull this one down. We can also just zoom in ever so slightly just to make sure that this is actually lined up like so let's do that side as well there we go now if we scroll down to the bottom we can just make that little bit a bit longer and we can make this bit a little bit longer as well and then we can change the color to whatever we want so for this example let's just change this to black and now we want to create this little bit which says composition notebook so again if we now click r on the keyboard again is going to bring up this little square. Now we can pull this out to make as big or as little as we want. Let's put it like this. We're also going to change this color to white and then we're going to change the border. So to put a border, we click on the border style. We can choose the border styles just here. We want a solid line like so. We're also going to round these corners as well, ever so slightly, just like that and this is looking good. Now we could make this a little bit smaller, possibly like so. Now if we click onto this shape and double click, we can then write composition notebook. Now the problem with this is that it's going to try and keep it in the center. We don't want that, so what we're going to do is create the wording composition notebook separate and then put it over the top. So now if we type the T, on the keyboard we're going to get the title come up now here we can type in composition notebook we can also make this a bit bigger so if we do that and zoom in come to the word and drag from the corner we can make that bigger like so now if we want to change the font we can come over to fonts and choose whichever font that we want now there's lots of great free ones here in Canva, but I actually have lots of different fonts which I got from Creative Fabrica, which I have uploaded myself. But to use Canva's fonts, we can filter through handwriting, corporate, display, and many more. For this example, let's click on headings and let's choose one of these. And let's go with this one just here. Now let's zoom out to see what that looks like and let's just move that up a little bit. We're now going to need the lines as well. So what we can do is just click, is tap on the keyboard L and it's going to bring up the line like this. Now what we want to do is just zoom in ever so slightly. We're going to bring that edge in to make this a lot smaller like so. Let's move that to there. Let's scroll up and let's put that here. In fact, that's not quite long enough. So let's do this again, make just ever so slightly longer, like so. Then we're just going to copy and paste that and move that down. We're going to do that probably around three times, just like that. Now, if these are a little bit off, what we can do, let's just lock this background for a second, like so. We can highlight over these three lines, then, if we click on the three dots, we can go to space evenly and click on tidy up. And now that is evenly spaced. So now 
if we zoom out like so, we've got the makings of our composition notebook. Now, once you've actually created this just here, you can use this as a template. So that way, every time that you create a composition notebook, you're not starting from scratch. So now, if we were to actually put these designs, these little images here on the page, I'd first copy this like so and paste. So now we have two copies and I'd work on this second one. Again, that way, when we go to create more, all we have to do is copy the original template. Now, from here, all we have to do is take our images, put them onto the page like this, and put up there. We're going to stretch out the image ever so lightly as well, like so, and then we can pull down on this image as well. Now, because we actually upscale these, we're not going to lose that quality. So, now we can actually push this to the back, like that. We're going to push it forward one more time, and then we're going to copy this image and paste it, move this over to the left, and then we're going to flip this image, like so. We're also going to push this one to the back as well, and there we go. We now have our first composition notebook cover. Now, if you were to do this, always remember that when you go to download, to take that background template, unlock it, and then delete. Then we can just stretch that out again, like so. Now that isn't actually quite lined up, so let's just move that down ever so slightly to round about there. And there we go. So again, we can now do this for all of the other images. So we go back to the original, we're going to copy, we're going to paste, we're going to take our image, let's go with this one just here, we're going to put it there, we're going to stretch out to the side, we're going to pull down on the bottom, we're going to push that to the back, then forward one, we're going to copy this and paste, move that over, flip it around, and move to the back as well. And again, always remember to remove that background template like so. So that's how you can easily create the covers. But how do you actually get the interior for this? Well, again, Tangent Templates, my go-to tool. Now, if we come over to the front page, just here, we can see all of these different interiors that we can choose from. But the one that we want is either the college ruled or the wide ruled as well. Now, depending on your research on Amazon, will depend on what you choose. And whatever you choose, always remember to put that in the description because you don't want someone looking to purchase a college ruled but then end up with a wide ruled. That's going to lead to a bad customer experience. And another thing which I quickly want to note, please don't just go and make images on the fly and create your books. Always remember to do your research over on Amazon before you even start creating the images. That way you're going to know exactly what you're creating and the keywords that you're going to target. Now, let's come back over to Tangent Templates. We're going to choose the college ruled. Now, if I remember correctly, we created the cover with 100 pages in mind. So right here for the page count, we're going to put 100. We're going to choose the trim size. This was an 8.5 times 11. We are going to choose the bleed because remember, if your lines or images go directly to the edge of the page, then you're going to need bleed. But now we can just simply click on this like so. Let's open this up. And now we have our interior. Now you can take this over to something like Canva or your preferred software and you can customize this a little bit to however you want. But that's the basics of the interior, and we use Tangent Templates. Now, if you don't have Tangent Templates and you want a free alternative, then you can use Self-Publishing Titans. Because if we come up to here, to Free Tools, we can see they have a free, low-content bookmaker. Now, you do need a free account to also access this as well. But if we click on there, give it a second to load up, we can choose 
the dimensions just here. For this example, it was an 8.5 times 11. We can click next. And then we have these different notebook interiors. Right here, we have the wide ruled, so we could click on there. We can actually customize that first page as well with a blank page or whatever. But if we want to have the wide ruled, we can click on here, we can click on next. Then from here is where we can add more pages. So we could put 100 pages here. We can play around with the page margins, the image size, and everything else as well. Now, this isn't a tutorial on how to use this, but I do highly suggest going through and checking it out, again, because they have lots of different interiors just here, as you can see. But again, once you have your interior, then all you have to do is come into your composition notebook covers, then click download. So with this, we're going to click on download, change the PNG to PDF print just here, then we're going to choose the page. So this is page number three, like so. We're going to click done. We're going to click download. Well, actually, in fact, we can actually change this as well to CMYK, which is going to be best for professional printing. Now, as we can see, this is actually a Canva Pro feature. Now, if you want to try out Canva Pro, then there will be a link down in the description below. Disclaimer, it is an affiliate link, so if you do decide to purchase, I will make a small commission after your trial. But we're going to click on there, then we're going to click download, and now we have the cover and the interior all ready for KDP. And there we go. So here's the cover already, and then here's our interior as well. So that's how you can take your AI images and turn them into lovely composition notebooks just like this. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, then please consider giving me a like and a subscribe as it does really help out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, then click right here and watch this playlist.